What is reality? Is she a figment of our imaginations? Is she real? Can we touch her? Does she shift? Does she change? No, no, because that's the only kind of experiments can you do to act upon this. This, I well, thought, what we don't know, you know what it is, it's a great mystery. Yeah, so it's, and, and, it's, and it's a mystery. It's like, it's like saying, if this is a simulation, how can we fuck with it? What we don't know, you see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since, since this is a mystery, it's we, since we don't know how, how possibility becomes actuality, and no one does, I mean, none of the decoherence and all that stuff doesn't solve this problem, it's an open question. Yeah. You know, some people say consciousness does, but I think that's too easy a solution. My, 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 my feeling is that, that quantum mechanics is so weird. I mean, it, 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 it finds a way to, to, to mix opposites with just casual ease, like waves. A light wave is six miles wide, and yet when it's, when it's recorded, it's just tiny photon, it doesn't have any size. You know, how does that happen? It, it, it's both huge and it's small. At the same time? It's well, kind of the same time. It's, it's the same like the dichotomy of the universe, you know, yin but, and yang. But it takes these dichotomies and it puts them together in a way we would never ever thought of. And now, locality and non-locality. Yeah. There's something that, that, that is outside of space-time, and we can prove it, but we can't use it. Everything <laughs> we see is local. So you'd think that underneath this would be a local reality, a reality that obeys space-time, just like all, everything we see. This, I can't make this go faster than light, no matter what I do, no physics. But the world that this spoon is part of has these non-local connections in it. Hmm. Nature just says that, you know, non-local. What about, what's it called, the, is it, is it um, the non-locality theory? Like, like, where, like if I touch Alan, that, the will, that no matter how far apart we are, that there's this particle of energy that sort of like holds us together. This yes, you're, you're entangled in some way, but it's yeah. an entanglement it's that has no consequence in the actual world. Right. <laughs> but it exists. It exists. Okay. It, it's, it's, That's it's, enough for me. That's all I like to say. <laughs> What's consequence? You know, there's, there's, the, there's, the, there's, there's, <laughs> there, there's the world of phenomena and then there's the world of reality. The world of the phenomena is what we live in. This, this, this connection, the Bell connection, is on the, is on the level of reality. It's merely real. It's not phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> it's really real, uh, uh, you know, but it, it never surfaces at this level. We prove it indirectly using Bell's theory. I mean, nature is so fucking subtle on the quantum level that if she chose a solution that mind collapses the wave function, I'd be disappointed. Well, 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 there's a fragment of there's a fragment of a of a, of a, of a verse there, uh, large extended and, and and tiny small at the same time, deeply connected and wholly separate at the same time, honey. Yeah. Honey, someday you gotta show me how you do that. Yeah.